The highly anticipated 1.6 update for Stardew Valley is finally here for PC players, with console and mobile gamers hopefully not having to wait too much longer. This massive update is filled to the brim with new content, including new festivals, crops, items, new NPC interactions, and a whole lot more. The amount of changes here is almost overwhelming, so we've made it easier for you to digest by including all of the biggest and most important updates in one video. First up is a big one. The 1.6 update introduced an entirely new farm layer. The new Meadowlands farm is perfect for animal lovers, featuring a river and ponds allowing you to catch multiple varieties of fish from the comfort of your farm. It also grows a new type of grass called chewy bluegrass, which your animals will love. The best part, however, is you'll start with a free coop and two chickens. Building a coop of your own costs $4,000, 300 wood and 100 stone, so starting with one makes this farm layout the best of the bunch. If you felt like you'd achieved enough in Stardew Valley, your work is not over yet. The mastery system allows you to earn a whole new type of skill point beyond the ones you already have. Mastery Cave, the hub of this new skill system, can be found near the bottom of Cindersap Forest. Once your skills are maxed to level 10, you will be able to enter the cave and find five skill pillars. There is a pillar for combat, foraging, farming, fishing, and mining, along with a note from your grandfather. The mastery system introduces a unique gauge that you can find on your skills page. Fill the gauge by doing anything that provides you with experience points to get one mastery point. You can then redeem these mastery points at any of the pillars in Mastery Cave to reap new and exciting rewards. The 1.6 update also introduced four new festivals and events to help keep your experience fresh. There is a new three-day event taking place on the 15th, 16th and 17th of spring in the desert, two new fishing festivals, the Trout Derby and the Squid Fest, which allow you to earn rewards for catching bucket loads of rainbow trout and squid, and finally a mysterious new environmental event taking place in summer. Sometimes one cat just isn't enough, and thankfully that is yet another thing addressed in the new update. If you have full hearts with your starter pet, you'll get the chance to adopt additional ones to grow your Stardew family. But don't get too excited because we haven't even got to the best part yet. Not only can you get more varieties of cats and dogs, but there's an entirely new type of pet, turtles. These turtles come in two colors, green, and if you really want to flex your money-making skills, there is a very expensive purple turtle as well. Even the map got a shiny new coat of paint in the update, which now shows your exact position. The map used to only show an approximate location to indicate what area you were in, but not exactly where you were in the area. Having much more reliable markers on the map is a nice quality of life improvement that could be invaluable when playing multiplayer with your friends. The past Stardew Valley update introduced a whole new area to explore called Ginger Island. Ginger Island features countless new things to do and places to explore, one of those being a new collectible called Golden Walnuts. There are 130 Golden Walnuts to collect on Ginger Island, which is enough to keep you entertained for the long haul. If you're stuck on your last few Golden Walnuts, however, and can't seem to track them down, there is a new Golden Joja Parrot that you can pay to find the rest of them for you. The 1.6 update also introduced even more crops to grow, fish to catch, and resources to collect. These new crops being carrots, summer squash, broccoli, and powder melon cannot be purchased from a store, which brings us to the cutest part of the update, a new questline. This questline results in some new neighbors moving into town who act almost like mini community center bundles. Completing this quest is the best way to find and explore the new resources introduced in the update, and who doesn't want some cuddly new neighbours? In addition to some new neighbours, the 1.6 update also introduced another NPC, a travelling book salesman. The bookseller comes to town twice per season with a selection of books you can purchase. These books contain secrets to help you run faster, gain more experience in a certain skill, and even allow you to make more profit when selling things like artefacts and more. Mystery boxes are an exciting new addition for players who have the millionaire achievement. After making your first million dollars, 
you may be lucky enough to receive a midnight visit from Mr. Chi, who will fly across your screen dropping mysterious crates as he goes. These crates are mystery boxes that can only be opened by the blacksmith and contain all sorts of goodies from high value items, meals, equipment, books, and a number of other handy items. You can find these mystery boxes by digging up artifact spots, mining, fishing, and even as rewards for doing particularly well during events like the new Trout Derby and Squid Fest. Finally, if you've ever felt bad for Haley and Penny for having to wander around the snowy winter expanse of Pelican Town in short skirts, you might be comforted to know that they will now be nice and cozy rugged up in their new winter outfits. There are also many new NPC dialogue options to explore like custom gift reactions, more dynamic reactions to events, and new flower dance acceptance dialogues just to name a few. There is so much to unpack in the 1.6 update that this barely scratches the surface. There are still many more items, quality of life improvements, and even visual improvements to explore in Stardew Valley. If you want to know more about those, head to the wiki, and for anything else gaming, stick to IGN.